and welcome to the M14 Industries track here at the MRDWC 2018 in sunny Barcelona. Barcelona. I am Holly and I am joined by... Captain Malice. Hello. And, and we have... Captain Motorboater, but they can't hear me. Captain, Captain Motorboater, Motorboater, who is here as our producer. Hi, Captain Motorboater. We have, we have a lot of captains here. Yep, well, there's, there's, there's captains everywhere because, you know... We have to have some sort of leadership and hierarchy over <laughs> here at the M14 track. Okay, so this is the second game for both these teams, I believe. Yes. Sweden, after the previous game, are going to need to beat Chile and then hope Chile beats Spain to take second for their group. Otherwise, potentially, Spain are going to take second here for their group uh, if Sweden beat Chile and Spain then beat Chile in a later game. Uh, Sweden obviously going to have a, a very tough game against England tomorrow morning. It'll be very interesting how this works out for the group. So let's go through some rosters. Over to you, Holly. Thank you. And we are going to have a look at the Sweden roster. They are playing in yellow today. We have 0 1 1 Peking Punisher, 0 1 2 2 Pistoff, number 1 Tim Flodden, number 1 1 Nilf, number 1 3 Mick Jagger, number 2 2 Christopher Asplund, number 2 2 1 Block de Watson, number 4 Yada Yada. Number four, two, Papa. Number five, six, three, Sweet Jackie. Number six, Kles Homburg. Number six, one, Krutzen. Number six, six, nine, Ikea. Number eight, Tobias Nilsson. And number nine, and No Modesty Plays. That is Team Sweden. And we're just going to wait here for the Chile rosters. Chile are going to be playing in red. And here we are. We have zero, one, Gator. We have zero, eight, six, El Patron. Number 16, Espadano. Number 27, Verta Hunders. The 28, forgive me here for a VJ. And we have 314, Quattro Hoja. Number 60, Gato Lobo. Number 66, insane. Number 8, it's Cyborg. With an 8 in there, interesting. Number 8,000, Mechanical. Number 88, Kono. Number 9, Karama. And number 95, Zakumi. So definitely a lot shorter rosters. So we're going to have to see how that affects them. This is only a 30 minute game. And for those of you who are just tuning in, it is five penalties in the 30 minutes, two foul out. Uh, so not the traditional old four we used to have back in the day, for I am old. And but still with the hard clock as well, so yes, clock the, does not stop. The clock stops for no person, no, if, if an animal runs on track, there will be no stopping. Nothing will stop this clock, even if, you know, Captain America bursts through the ceiling and flexes his funky muscles. Nothing's stopping this clock today. I might stop talking if that happens, I'm afraid. I, I will continue. <laughs> Wrapped up on time, we're just getting our officials into position. Uh, there's a little bit of... Um, I only count four, five, six referees. Yep, we're just having a little bit of a, a change around here at the... Um, at the head heads table, so we're just ensuring yes. that they're all set and ready to go for this Best action seats in the as well. Apart from ours, and of but course yours at home. Yes, you you get our wonderfully high-angled camera footage, so you get to see all the action that some people can't see because they're at eye level. So you can see down into the pack. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. See, it's number. It's all the sixes. It's six, six, and six. Uh, so it's insane. Number sixty-six for Chile up against number six Holmberg. And Sweden again in the yellow, Chile in red. Sweden sitting back on a three defensive wall, straight up with the offense up at the front, whilst Chile going for the 4D and have now only just dropped back their pivot. Early penalty picked up there. I think that's dropped the block to us. Oh, sorry, block to Watson. Plenty of whistles happening. And indeed, Sweden taken down to just two blockers now on track, and that's given Chile a bit of space at the front. Insane has broken through. Lee Jammer going to the team in red. Yeah, a little bit of lovely offense from Nick Jagger that gets Holmberg out, though, completing their initial. Insane on his scoring pass. Two to beat, but doing excellent work there. Some very clever Ooh. looking there, Insane. Knew he had to go for the inside line, but actually turned around once he'd passed just to ensure that he was calling before Sweden's jammer could actually hit the back of the pack and pick up any points. Mm. Yeah, a little bit con concerning for uh, Sweden here. Knudsen coming off track, already looking quite angry about something. And in the previous game, Sweden did lose their heads a little bit. So maybe something to watch out for. 
as the chaff to touch here, the Sweden still down to two blockers as the cheese ball bearings penalty box is got two of their blockers sat down from the previous game. This is some very fast and frantic play from both sides. Back up to three blockers as Blot of Watson has re-entered. Chile down to three blockers as well. Cutting penalty issued at the front arm at their pivot. Espatino there is being recycled again by Block to Watson. No modesty blaze popped to the inside edge there by is number 086. Which is oh. out of control. That was a lovely little jump there by No Modesty Blaze, almost pinballing off of the, the Chilean blocker. And we do have a power jam here as a cut track penalty has been issued to Espartano. Espartano. Block to Watson's going straight back to the penalty box. He's only just left early in this jam. Shrug of the shoulders to his bench staff. <laughs> Big clearance there to allow the jammer to get back on track. But Ver Veruta Thunders straight back up, straight back up in there. And they're back on their four wall, four defensive wall, which was so good in that very first jam. Sweden managing to break apart the Chilean team. No one's the Blazer, I was caught by uh, the, uh, <laughs> the helmet of number 27, uh, Veruta Thunders. But he's, he's off scared. There's no, no intent on that. He's tucked as small as he could be. No one's the Blazer, not to the inside. And now it's Sweden's turn to be down again. Two blockers. Oh, block to Watson coming legally on a big, big shoulder check. Papa there, number 42, very happy for his team getting some points on the board. It's an intense, intense skater. It is still... Is still, still waiting on a scoring pass to be confirmed? Yes, the, the jammer for Sweden is coming in to just clarify some points. We've not even had four minutes to go. Already this, this action is, is taking us up. We've got a tied game, four apiece. Yeah, four apiece <laughs> after two jams. It's a quick official timeout now. Obviously the clock does not stop, but this is, this is going to be an intense game because Sweden need to win here to, to really stand a chance of making it into... Well, As you said, second, yeah, second, second place. place. I mean, they, they, I, I spoke briefly with No Modesty Blaze before the game, uh, saying that you need to win here, but you need to, you know, be gentle with Chile because you need Chile to give, you know, to beat Spain. And it's like it's just going to be a tough one to like balance out the intensity. It's got a tightrope walk, keep what they've got to do to keep this all in their favour. They do need to take back control though. Chile coming out very hot, very quick, picking up the first set of points. Yep. Um, Sweden. Um, now a pass ahead, eight to four, as after the clarification of points. Yes, but Sweden needs to sort out their penalties. Oh, yes. I mean, this is, this is a consistent problem, I'm afraid, uh, with, with some teams that just get stuck in these bad penalty loops and can't get out of them. Yeah, yeah, they're with the star for Sweden, and he is up against Quachahoas. Um, yeah, yeah, is being drawn back here by Vijay. And Blot of Watson is running for Quachahoas, so. Lots of jam recycling going on. Knudsen with Mick Yeager there trying to slow down. Kratcher, they can't. He slips around the outside, trying to recapture him though. Can't get there in time. It is number 61, Knudsen. Knudsen. Dr. Uh, Dr. Watson with a little bit of a, a speed burst after his uh, bench were telling him, it's on your tail, keep going. A uh, single point picked up there by Yara Yara. Big shout out to uh, Quad Skate Shop, one of our lovely tournament sponsors here this weekend. We're going to see Insane again for Chile, right. up against Pistoff for Sweden. Yeah, that was 0 1 2 2. Insane picking up lead very quickly, not to the outside, but gets a no pass, no penalty. Uh, yeah, and that was already after he had him given that lead or earned that lead. Oh, pissed off there, going a little bit defensive very briefly, just doing enough to knock Insane off on the outside of the track. Toro there running pissed off all the way back though. Yeah, it seems like he gets a little bit of leeway and then that very last Chilean blocker just taking him back. Yep, as it just happens again there. 
trying to draw the cut, but some really good awareness by the Swedish team to notify Pistoff he needed to return at the back. Uh, Sweden are taking advantage of the experience they should have over Chile at this level. I mean, uh, Sweden, Sweden have been you know, ever present at the World Cups, and they, they seem to be struggling here with the intensity the Chileans are bringing. They are a little bit, but um, I mean, looking at the rosters that they're bringing through to us, mm. uh, we're not looking at a set team that's played every every um, World Cup that we've mm. had. So they do oh. have a, a, a little bit of a change up. So some people settling into the the Swedish team. Yeah. Um, Chile again. They've got a lot of individuals with a lot of experience in yeah. all the derby generally coming together as a fairly new national team, but mm. but still got plenty oh. plenty behind them. Oh, of course. Uh, no discredit meant Chile at all. There. It's, it's more. I, I, I think the Swedes are struggling to settle into the game. I think that intensity of the first jam has thrown Sweden off here. Uh, I think there's a, that and that little bit of concern they may have had after losing that such close first game against Spain in the Open. Yeah. And that those two things might be getting under their skin a little bit. But Holmberg here is at the front with only one to beat, and he does for Lee Jana. Some very, very good offensive play in by Sweden's pivot as well, just to ensure that pass happened. Mick Yeager, he's already he's seen, he's got the defense on straight away, switched that brutal offense. It's so effective and it's exactly perfectly timed for his jammer as well. Uh, it's, he has a, a wonderful style, uh, almost beguiles his aggression. He just looks very. Relax and some of those big bursts of speed as you saw, he goes for it to break through. Four on penalty issued there to 88. Look at it, three versus three on track at the moment. Holmberg going around for another pass. As Espardono goes in, really heavy with the shoulders, only just now being slowed down. I think he's already picked up all of the points though. He's really tough as he hit the back of that pack. But there is basically you know, it looks like the Swedes think they've got the holding of uh, Espanto, so they're going to try and slow him down and, and eke out more points. Which Holmberg did get another scoring pass there. I mean, the points have already been accrued, but the differential is important. That's so now plus nine still. Yeah, Holmberg coming around. He's got a few more seconds. He, he should be able to get at least this pass. Knocked to the inside line. Did he pick up any points on that one? He did. Three more points. So that takes them up to a 12. Yeah, I think Mikai is still in the penalty box, though. So, yep. No more see, but he's just indicating uh, no pivot. Though. So the 12, 12 difference between mm. the two. So a 12 positive for this jam. 16 points overall for Sweden, taking them up to 25. Chile on 13. We've still got a good 20 minutes, only about a third of the way through this oh, game. Yep. Uh, these these half-hour games of the first 10 minutes can really indicate how the game's going to go. And Ch Chile are more than competitive in this one. This is a closer on track than it appears to be on the scoreboard. But we're only 10 minutes in, a third of the way through. No modesty plays, though. He's stuck at the back. We do have Quattro Arras. And sees the inside line. Good run by the Chilean jammer. That gap just opened up and he took full advantage. No modesty blaze trying to work way through one skate. Oof. Hot. But it's out of place, so he's okay. No pass, no pan. In the meantime, we do have Cuatro Hoyas just stuck in that wall. Calls it off, does call it off in time and picks up a duo of points. Yeah, ten point the differential is Yada Yada takes a star against El Patron. Yeah, as, I, as I said, I mean, it's surprisingly even though it's three lead jammers apiece. There's only reason that large jam where they ran out of it with Holmberg. That's the real differential here. I mean, ten points between the two teams at this at this point in the game is nothing. It's it's nothing for either team to be worried about. It's also nothing for either team to be settled in with. So they both oh, yeah. still have plenty of work to do for the rest of this game. Yada yada, yada rounding beautifully the hits of uh, Virtual Thunders and uh, picking up lead jammers. Alcatron out is out as. And Jama for Chile for the first time. He uh, finds to get down the infield, uh, inside, not the infield. <laughs> That'd be illegal. <laughs> Space on the track on the inside. And Yada Yada going around the outside, stays on his toe stops. Oh, Cyborg almost coming in with a double hit. Yeah, a little bit of a late call there from Yada Yada. He's caught unawares. I think he potentially could have gone for another scoring pass to keep a positive differential, but. 
on as evil on that one, four apiece. Yeah, they, they can afford to uh, ensure that they're getting the points up as long as they're staying ahead, Sweden staying ahead of Chile. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as you said, they don't really want to become complacent now. Um, they need to make sure they're calling those, holding Chile down, and See, again, Chile just running for those extra points. Yeah, you saw the disappointment in Yadier's yeah. face, so he knew he should have been quick on that. Sweet Jackie with the star for Sweden, and being run back by number 66, Insane. Sweet Jackie, I think the first time he's taken the star, sprinting on his toes though is Sweet Jackie. Sweet Jackie, a very different gentleman to the rest of the Sweden roster, a smaller, more, more agile sort of skate. He needs the gap so the get three can't make his own. But uh, when the gaps are there, they are oh, gone. They're gone. Sweet Jackie, one of the nicest people in the world. <laughs> Living up to his name. Indeed. Insane hit in the back of the pack just as those last whistles are called through. There is a little bit of a tumble. Having a look, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's going to be any penalties issued. I know Sweden have gone in to, to inquire about whether there might be a penalty issued yeah. at the end of that jam. It was a tumble just like that for the whistle, kind of after the whistle sort of question. But three points picked up by Sweden. So, you know, that little positive. This is, the key thing here is, is, you know, it doesn't matter how many points you score as long as it's more than the opposition. Nice and simple explanation of how sports work for you there. <laughs> It's like you've read the rules once. It's like, it's like how survives. I like sports. Sports, sports, sports. Es so Holmberg with yes. Star against Espartano. Two very different styles of jamming here. Holmberg just pushing and just gradually moving that pack sideways to try and find some space. Espartano was bouncing all over the place like somebody wound him up and just let him go. <laughs> um, the pack having come to a, a sort of a, a crumble together at the front. Holmberg's now got some speed on him. This could be dangerous. We know he's powerful. Just yeah. takes a, a nudge out to the outside line, though, and is recycled back. So that momentum taken back off Holmberg. Holmberg and uh, No Modesty Blaze for Sweden, very similar. They get a little bit of speed and momentum. They've got that power to push a pack out of the way. But, and they were also quite adept at doing this lean, as you may you can't see it currently, but you will see, there you go. Just leans on the shoulders, moves them around, and he opens up a little bit. But it's a multiplayer block. That is, a, obviously, a rarity for the jammer, but he must have used a link. Oh! Nick wow. Jaeger! With the, with the 360 shoulder of doom, launches. Launches Tor, who has received a star pass. Off track. Oof. Nick Jaeger. Again, that language style belies an explosive, explosive blocking that a man can bring to the track. Chile settling back, waiting for their jammer to approach before they go in for the offense, which they do. They manage to split Sweden apart, but Sweden able to knock Toro off the track and he's recycled all the way back behind turn number three, who is now back on the track. Mick Yeager there caught out by a Ooh. cut draw. And he will go take a 30 second sit down. We have some debris on the track. We've got um, an elbow pad cover, I think it was. We, and we also have the pivot cover for Chile yep. up at the front, which is not necessary as Toro already took that star pass. Yeah, but dangerous. <coughs> uh, so it's been a power jam piece for each team as well. Uh, just the, 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 the track detritus being removed. As good nine points picked up by Chile in that jam. So it's giving us four points now between the two teams. And as we discussed before, not something that anything, any differential that can be sort of sat on. You're really going to have to keep the intensity level here very wide. The Swedish bench staff are questioning something, but there are no official reviews. So Quattro Horas is, is up with the star, and at the front is No Modesty Blaze being popped off to the inside. No Modesty Blaze being blocked solo by number 28, who is over here. Yeah, you're doing a very good job there, forcing mm. the uh, a little bit of a distraction whilst No Modesty Blaze was trying to remove the helmet cover. He's now just powered his way through, though, No Modesty Blaze. Yeah. And now about half a lap behind, coming up to the pack. Zakumi making a, a, a slight mistake in having sideways on presenting his entire rib cage, <laughs> all legal <laughs> to, to someone like No Modesty Blaze with momentum. Three points picked up by Chile. It's a one-point wow. game. Wow. And this now must be something that Sweden are very aware of and might be having concerns about. What, one-point game? Yep. Mm. 
So if you have not tuned in previously, Sweden's earlier game was a one-point decider, and they lost to Spain by one point. So currently being one point ahead. Just got a quick official timeout taking place. And obviously in the official timeouts, the clock does not stop. And we will have to say, in this lovely time, let's have a shout out for Bruce Skate News. Bruce Skate Straps for skates that just don't fit right. Don't let foot or heel slippage mess with your game. Check out Bruce Skate Straps. They wrap around your boot and plate and keep your feet in place so you can improve agility. Be better with Bruce Skate Straps at bruisedsn.com. So that's one of those interesting that I, I had to learn I had quite severe heel slippage in my skates and it is something that can hold down that, that rear axle against the heel. Oh yeah, it gives you far more control if you're able to, to hold your foot fully against the plate. So we have the one point differential in favour of Sweden who have one extra lead jam coming into jam number 10. So if we maintain this honours even state, we can probably expect a lead jammer here for insane number 66. Now, whilst the clock does not stop, all this conversation between the referees and the officials and our lovely scoreboard crew is possibly feeding into Sweden's favour. Just taking a little bit of that momentum today I got with that, those two jams. It, it is, it is, but I would be far more comfortable as Sweden if I was uh, a good 20 points ahead and the, and the clock was ticking down. Mm -hmm. we, we are looking at it could go either way. So... Losing the time now whilst you're in the lead, yes, that works in your favour, but the moment that lead change mm. happens, or if it happens, you want those seconds back. Oh, They're yeah. very precious seconds. But the uh, referees do, doing all their job, the officials doing their jobs, and making sure that this game is running as it should do. Insane, always trying to step over yes. the hips of Block to Watson. I'm not sure if you can tell just how much taller Block to Watson is than Insane, but quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> there we do have a lead challenge to Jules Chile. It is now five apiece. And Block to Watson doing his best to slow down Insane at the back alongside Trutzen. Yeah, Yada Yada is out of the pack, picking up some speed. We have Insane knocked to the outside. Now comes firing back through. Goes around the outside. Does a very high call off to ensure that jam is called before Yada Yada hits and picks up points. How many have Chile got? We are watching the jam referee and they're going to indicate two points. So that becomes... A one point lead for Chile. The audience in the venue suddenly picked up on that change. That is three out of four leads, four insane. And, and three scoreless jams for Sweden in a row. Wow, so the control swinging in at Chile's favour currently. Sweden still have got just under 11 minutes left of this game to take it back. And they have fielded Pistoff, who is pushing out the front. Chile and Jama El Patron, who... Has just lost his star cover, so he, he will not lose the ability to gain lead because it was accidental, but he will yes. now because lead has been issued to Pistoff. And El Padron now removing it deliberately, looking out for a potential star pass. There was a little bit of a, a mix-up happening on the infield. Penalty being issued. Yep. To one of the Chilean blockers. I was very concerned it might be the Chilean jammer there, because it was one of the jammer three who's indicating a no-pass penalty as well. A lot of confusion, but Gustav is on their second scoring pass after picking up a five and regaining the lead for Sweden. Now we have a penalty now to El Patron as a cut track, and Sweden going to take full advantage here. And yep, smart, smart call. Going to send out fresh legs on a power jump. Should be near enough to full 30 seconds for them. It is, it is, and yeah, on the flip side, maybe not. I mean, uh, Sweden were down to three blockers. Chile were also down to three blockers. So, um, you know. Uh, Pissoff was looking quite quite clean, quite happy to carry on going, uh, but certainly the, the team decision has been, call this one, let's send, send a new jammer out. And they're sending out Holmberg, who's been very effective <laughs> so far. Has indeed, yep, has indeed. So Chile certainly sending out their defensive trio. Um, they do have their blocker, fourth blocker, standing in the cheese balls bearings penalty box. One thing you might be missing from the angle of the camera is Literally every Swedish skater is a full head taller than the Chilean block is currently on track. At least. Got to a full complement now of four blockers for Chile. Oh, a lovely, lovely block to the outside by Mechanico. Oh, 
<laughs> a double whammy there by uh, Cyborg. Not only does he have the pullback on Holmberg, but also managed to pull an illegal re-entry penalty mm. at the same time. Yeah, Tobias Nilsson there making a mistake and entering in front of the opposition stake. He moved so quickly, though. It was hard yeah. for, for you to be able to retract what you'd just done. Yeah. Good offense here coming from Mechanical, looking very strong in the Chilean pack. El Patron is stuck in there, though. Offense coming from every direction. Forearms penalty issued to someone. Oh, it's the star pass is illegal. So, yes, El Patron is going to sit down as the jammer. And Cyborg going to sit down as the blocker pivot. with the pivot stripe. For an out of play. Just getting all the way around and re-entering at the back of the pack. Doing a very, very big naughty. It's a, it's a difficult one. Once you, once you take that star, your, your mind is focused on being the jammer. Mm. So even though you're getting calls made to you by the referees, your head's there going, I can't be out of play, I'm the jammer. Especially a Cyborg who was round that pack, sorry, round the track so quickly. Like that was ridiculous speed. Time are being called here by Sweden. Now maybe a bit more confident with a 13 point lead after those couple of jams. Uh, that they're gonna just try and kill a bit of clock and gonna start on a power jam. So this is two sequential power jams now for Sweden. And looks like they're sending out no modesty blaze with a strong, strong wall in front. Two minutes. Ooh. So we're going to have extra penalties being issued here. Who was that issued to, Holly? I was just trying to clarify. We've, we've, there's a, a second penalty being issued in the cheese balls bearings penalty box. I'm just having a look. I don't think it's being issued on the jammer. I do think it's being issued on the pivot. Number eight, Cyborg. Yes. That he could be considered a bigger loss. He, Cyborg has played very, very well so far. Has indeed. Of course, that clock is still going down. We've got just six minutes, 40 seconds remaining in this game. 13-point lead in favor of the Swedes. It's not a comfortable lead, no, but it no, is a lead. If you win by one, it still counts. <laughs> now, no modesty Blaze needs to be careful on his engagement. Doesn't get caught for something silly here. It has to be very, very clean because they need this for Sweden. Sweden starting grouped around the Chileans. Chile trying to reset themselves up at the front uh, with Toro, but No Modesty Blaze was able to easily dodge around the individual blocker. A lot of credit has to go to, I think it was Nilf at the back there, holding back one of the Chilean blockers, number nine, I believe, Kurama. Mick Yeager just going in backwards, just splitting that wall apart in a different shape and uh, follow through swiftly by No Modesty Blaze. Apologies, it wasn't Nilf, it was Nilsson. Nilsson. Yeah, number eight. Three leads in a row for Sweden with two power starts in a row. And that has been the changing of the uh, fate here. And we have had, we have had, I do apologize, we've had, um, Cyborg returned to the track, so it was double penalty yeah, for 0 8 6. Yeah. Who has now returned back to the track. Now, obviously, with that penalty trouble, El Prone has had that will be at least three, potentially four, I think, off the top of my head. Um, that star is something he shouldn't really be passing here. But the Swedes are not going to allow that to happen, keeping him very separate from his pivot, Cyborg. Star has been passed around the outside. Cyborg clean, got it, sprinting out of the pack. Star in hand. Now coming up on his scoring pass, No Modesty Blaze calls it nice and big, even though he's literally stood on the toes of his jammer referee. Again, literally? He, well, figuratively. Literally <laughs> now means figuratively. The word has been ruined by the youth. Has it been literally ruined? It's been literally ruined. <laughs> Uh, again, I don't really see Papa number 42 is very, very intensely cheering every victory for Sweden. Uh, he, he's uh, very much wearing his heart on his sleeve for this game. Pump of the fist with every point. Interesting to see that we have uh, Cyborg back on track as the pivot. 
for this jam with insane jamming up against yada 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 just waiting actually until um action was taken on insane oh my goodness i thought he was in and round oh. but he's just been knocked out at the very last moment his own momentum taking him out and that's insane but yada yada breaking around turn number two as Insane takes a big hit to the inside line. A and, huge oh cut. Oh, no. Came back on in front of nearly everybody. Yeah. That's unfortunate because I mean, Chilean had had shut out for three jams in a row, and Insane's been very effective for them. So it's a, a, a shame he managed to take that. Yada, yada, call on the jam. Little fluttering fingers, so he didn't get called very quickly. Call off. Chased down by Cyborg. Cyborg not able to catch him. Cyborg back on track again. No, no, no. He has been now removed from the track. I thought that's, that's going to be some intense play. Mm, three in a row, taking two star passes. One of them failed. No, four in a row that would be. Sorry, he had the penalty as well. Sweden here now with a, a comfortable 30-point lead with three minutes left on the clock. Sweet Jackie with the star. You'd expect Sweet Jackie to get lead jammer here as they are on a power jam start. Sweden going for that inside sweep. Sweet Jackie does get lead jammer. And I think with the experience here, the Swedes are going to comfortably shut this game out now. Bit of game management, keep their heads. They should see this one out, clear victors. Well, Chile still fighting. Sweden going for that inside sweep. The outside worked previously. Sweet Jackie now going around the outside, just knocking into Chile. Oh, a good stop there by number nine, Kurama. And Sweet Jackie now recycled to halfway on the far straight. Insane is back on the track and living up to his name, just causing mayhem at the front with the Swedish blockers. Toad out near. Ooh. Papa Ooh. trying to drive the oh. cover, but there's the big shoulder from the intense pivot. Papa. Both jammers now off and being recycled back. The pack is halfway between turns three and four. Sweet Jackie back on first. Chile now split in half. Sweet Jackie is through down, but back up on his feet. Yeah, Sweet Jackie, if you knock him down, he's right back up every time. Pack resettles now on the jammer line. Sweet Jackie's trying to spin through. Looks around to his referee to state that the call is being issued. Yeah, it's number 22. Aspen uh, took a, a knock to the face. <laughs> you know, very incidental, but I think going right on the bridge of the nose, which is always a tough one to take. Generally, you know, can make your eyes all the questions and affect vision. Not something I recommend doing, taking a, a knock solidly on the bridge of the nose. He is, he's down, but he, he's getting up under his own power. He's, he's a little bit concerned about a nose injury. We've got one minute and change on the clock. Officials being called into the middle. Holmberg with the star for Sweden. Quacho, Quacho Horas, number 314 for Chile. Uh, as always, I humbly apologize for my awful pronunciations. Uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm terrible, terrible Englishman who's awful with different languages because that's the, the horribleness of my entire nation. You don't teach language very well. But <laughs> nothing's really occurred after that quick for to double check on some things. This should be our last jam as we have less than 40 seconds on the clock. Sweden with a comfortable lead here of 38 points. Chile have been unable to score in the previous five jams. That's uh, a strong, strong brace three. Nice and rigid, holding back to at the back. No pass, no penalty on Holmberg, but he has already been issued lead jammer. So, yep. so the no pass and penalty was in that whole sort of conflab moment. It's, yeah, after, the, after having legally passed all of those players. Yeah. Picks up the five, and it's out of sight now. That is the game clock. Quattro Hoyas still fighting hard at the back with some assistance from Cyborg. <laughs> they, they've not they've not like laid down and, and let the game oh, happen no. around them. No, I mean it was a couple of unfortunate jammer penalties at really bad moments. Just just took this game away from Chile. As there's a good squad here in red, and their game against Spain will be very interesting. I as think, I think, as you said at the beginning, Malice, this has probably been the exact result that Sweden wanted. I think they would have hoped for something more dominant. I think those first couple of jams really got under their skin a little bit. But they need this for their confidence. They've got a tough game against England coming up. They, 
I mean, they potentially are expecting to lose that game against England, but they need to give a good account of themselves for the, the differential. But they've got to hope that, that Chile beats Spain to give them a real chance at taking the second spot. Yeah, and, and I mean, the, the play, although not constantly in their control, mm. um, if they know that Chile can, can dominate at times, yep. it will give them a little bit more confidence that Chile will go in and dominate over Spain. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I think at the moment the, it, the pendulum swung in Sweden's favour for it to give them the outcome overall, mm -hmm. what they're expecting, what they're hoping to have, regardless of their, their game, their loss against Spain. No, no of course. This will be an interesting one for, for Chile to take because they, they were in control for a large portion of the early half of this game. Um, and really consistently until Jam 10, no, Jam 11. It was, it was even across the board, five apiece uh, lead jams. And then from straight away after that, it was all... A run, oh, run for Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, a run for Sweden. Taking 11 leads overall over five to Chile. Yeah. I mean, to give you just a quick run like that. So we had no lead jammer in Jam 9. So by jam, end of Jam 11 was the last time that Chile scored and then took the lead to 33 to 32. And then after that, it was all Sweden. Chile unable to score and Sweden putting up a whole bunch of points and so many jam penalties. Five for Chile, one Sweden and that, that's it jammer penalties are clear not just the jammer penalties though we did we did see uh, Sweden fighting hard even though they had the just the two blockers on yep. track they cleaned their game up in the, in the oh, second yeah. half of that 30 minute period um, and it, and again it showed their defence was so solid when mm -hmm. they were all on track yeah. so well, good pointers to work on for for the next games yeah of course on well, both teams plenty to learn from it I mean, play at international level teams get exponentially better with every game they learn how each other's works, they learn how everything goes, more comfortable, and they get more fluid. But with that, I have been Captain Malice alongside me. Holly and Captain Motorboda. Hi, Captain Motorboda. Hi, Captain Motorboda. And coming up after this, we have, I believe, Australia versus Italy over here on the M14 track. And I'll have be there to uh, call that one as well. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> see you guys later. Keep tuned in. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Bye-bye.